Oh, beloved, please, I want you to pay attention. Uh, our sister had a, a very amazing encounter. Some of you who still doubt the things of God, she says she's not a born again. She's not a born again Christian. But I, by the end of this, uh, I will pray for her and I will, I, will, I will tell her why she needs to be born again. But God has given her an experience nobody can take from her. God has given her experience nobody can take from her. I believe that testimony, what she's saying, because I know the scriptures. So I want her to share this to all those of you listening and those of you on the social media. Please come here with me. Take the microphone. What's your name? My name is Harriet. Sister Harriet. My okay, name so is Sister Harriet, tell us the experience you have with Jesus. My name is Harriet. And uh, in 2015, daytime, I was not sleeping. I felt so, so, so tired. Never tired before like that. Naturally, I don't sleep during daytime. Okay. Like I've just had a baby. Whether any condition has never made me feel so tired. Okay. Around 11 o'clock, it was in May 2015. Use the microphone. So I went. Um, Can I see my testimony as well? What I did is um, I went to sleep. I drew the curtains. I said, let me draw the curtains so that I get a little bit of darkness to attract my sleep okay. because I felt so tired. And I saw myself being lifted. How? I don't know. I was just flowing in the body. air. You and saw went, going up. Just going up. Okay. And then I saw the earth in a little bowl. And I could see people down, down, down somewhere. The okay. further I went up, the more, the, more the, the things came small and small. So I landed somewhere. And there where I was landing, where I landed, there was a, a, a door and a very big golden handle on the door. I didn't go in, just stood outside the door and inside, Jesus was sitting there on a platform in a chair, in a very white garment. And the light there, the brightness, I have never seen it anywhere. Okay. And I could see the angels just flowing in the air. No, nothing on the ground, but the atmosphere there felt so, so good. So fresh. Every color was so perfect there. And... Yes, I'm trying. Come closer. So... So now, as I was staring, watching... So as I was watching, uh, I was looking inside, and I said, oh my God, what is this staring? And then the angels, the way they're moving, and Jesus sitting on the platform, and on the left-hand side of Jesus, there was an empty seat on the left-hand side of Jesus. There was, nobody was sitting in that seat. It was empty, but it was on the left-hand side of Jesus. So as I was still staring, you know, the things looked very unusual from what I see. And then a figure came to pass me on my right hand side. I went to look at the figure passing towards Mother Mary. She didn't talk to me, she said nothing. But the clothes were so white, like snow, so like feathers, like smoke. And she just passed me and walked in and I said, This is heaven. I don't want to miss heaven. I went and touched on the golden handle. And I woke up. Okay. Now. And I have another one to tell you as well. Okay, let's let digest on this one. Hallelujah. Beloved, the testimony you heard from the sister, she says she's a Catholic. She's not a born again Christian, but she had out of body experience and she saw her body, herself being lifted from her body from the earth all the way through the sky. She saw the earth diminishing while she get close to heaven. There is an aspect of human body called your soul. It wasn't her body that went, her body was still lying in the bedroom but her soul went to heaven and she stood before this gate and the gate opened and she saw two thrones and Jesus was sitting on one and there is a, a throne on the left side of Jesus on the left side on the left side of Jesus is that and there is nobody sitting on that now if I analyze this with Bible I will say it's true because Jesus is sitting on the right hand side of the Father. So if Jesus is sitting on the right hand of the Father, 
the Father will be on the left of Jesus. That's why nobody has seen God and nobody can see God. There is somebody sitting on that throne, but because God cannot be seen, that's why it looks like it's empty. And the reason why Jesus can be seen, because he has come to the earth and become human before. So we will see him. It's good you said you saw Mary. Now, I wish Mary had spoken to you. Because in heaven, there are two things that bear witness in heaven. And I will tell you why. Don't pray again. Hey, Mary, pray for me. Mary doesn't pray for anybody, okay? You have to be born again. God has showed you this. You saw how beautiful heaven is. I don't think you want to lose it. You want to go there. So you would like to go to heaven. Now, Mary doesn't pray for anybody. Excuse me, with all my, my Catholic friends, don't be upset. The Bible says that there are two that bear witness in heaven. <laughs> so Jesus is the one who intercedes and prays for us in heaven. And the Holy Spirit on this earth helps us to pray over here. So God only told us to pray in the name of Jesus. Now, if you are praying towards a dead thing, it's necromancy. The dead has nothing to do with the living. So we don't pray through any dead person. Don't ever pray. Mary doesn't pray for anybody. I'm being honest with you. Mary has finished her project on the earth. God used her to bring Jesus. She's finished. She's dead and gone. It's only Jesus. I will tell you. It's only Jesus who prays for us in heaven. And on the earth, the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit helps us to pray. And Jesus intercedes from us. Mary has nothing to do with prayer. Don't pray through Jesus. Mary doesn't pray for anybody. So thank you. Your, your testimony is in line with the scriptures. That's what happens. If you die, yours is out of body and spirit. You haven't died yet. But supposing you die and you have a good relationship with Jesus, you would have been there. Now, if you, if you, there are people who have had the out of body experience who are not Christians, children of God, they go down. You know why you go down? Down is where anyone who dies without Jesus as their Lord and personal Savior, they are so goes down, and you go to the heart of the earth, to hell. You remain there, you suffer there, till the day of judgment. So, God has given you this vision, don't miss it, and give your life to Jesus. It's not good not to be born again. Jesus said, unless you are born again, you can never enter into the kingdom of God. So God has shown you you got another one, but we can only take one. Hallelujah. You, you, you don't, okay, you want to share the out, but you have to speak into the microphone because we can't hear you. Okay. Okay, share the other one and then we will we'll be gone. I will let you see. You have to use the microphone. This other one was last Please year. Please come here because of the tree. It gets that. This other one was last year. You have to look at it. I've seen Jesus many times walking on River Jordan. One time I was, um, I was like in St. Ives. This one was live. I was not sleeping. It was live. Around midnight, I couldn't sleep. I was looking after a lady who had cancer. So she slept downstairs. I slept upstairs. Went to upstairs to sleep, but I couldn't. So, well, there was no sleep. I went to guess on the balcony. On the dark sky, something started white, right in on the sky, like cycling round, round, and became like a tablet. Parasite on the sky. Big and big and big. And I said, What must be this? I kept staring on the dark sky. Then started right, putting on something like this, and then one arm here, and another one, both arms up like this. And then I, I said, no, this can't be me. See, this arm is seen. I'm not a holy person. And it kept writing, drawing itself, and then it drew itself, kept drawing up to somewhere here. Didn't put on any legs, but it stayed on the sky very, very big. I cried. I prayed tears of joy. Drawing? I prayed and prayed. What the it was the just human? a yes in the human form, but the both arms high like this. Oh God, it was so real. It stayed on the sky for some time. I kept praying and praying and praying. I, I, was, I cried tears of joy. I said, who am I? Who am I to see this? I wasn't sleeping. So I wanted to get back where my bed was. And that's where my phone was. So I take the photograph 
to say that to my children in Africa because I want to tell them again. But were you able to capture the fantasy? I couldn't. Yeah, because what you are seeing is not natural. <laughs> no, I could not. I tried. You were seeing I, the I took the different I couldn't, but it, did, it stayed there. It didn't go. Okay. So at the end, uh, uh, that was um, on the 20th. Third, on the 30th of November, it was November 2017 in St. Ives. On the 30th, I went into a vision. This time, Jesus' head came in a vision, and beside it, Jesus had their palms were together, like somebody praying on the left hand side. And when I kept calling people, come and see Jesus, come and see Jesus, and he smiled. This, I, I, I was, it is something I cannot believe. But even last year, last year in November, I had a friend of I had a friend of mine where we usually buy our traditional food. I've never seen the husband, but I saw them in the vision walking with the husband. So we entered a certain room, they were ahead of me. So there was a very crazy man, a very scaring man. I said, no, 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 no I'm not going in there. So I walked out, out and I turned right. And they turned left. So as I'm waiting between these two rows, I thought, what if the crazy man comes to me? So, so I said, maybe I don't, I, I, I just don't want the, the man to come, to come towards me. So what I did, I was in between them. Then some girls, five or six girls came from down the road and they were singing the most be beautiful voices I've never heard on earth. They were so singing and the voice above my head of a man's voice saying told me those are saints and as i followed them he said ask for what you want i couldn't open my mouth i kept following them and i went in another place but the place i went to was so beautiful okay you've had all this experience it was good experience but you just told me you are not born again Jesus has told us clearly, despite the visions he showed you, he said, unless we are, yeah, I have the Bible. Yeah, I can give you Bible. Jesus said, unless you are born again, you cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Do you want to be born again? Because you have seen all, you've had this all experience. If you are not born again, you will not enter into the kingdom of God. Now, all of you, no, you don't just have to open any page. That's not how you do the Bible. You have to, the book of many do what you did they just take the bible and they open anywhere and whatever is there they read that's not how you read the bible okay so what i'm saying is okay john 3 16 says for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life a religious man came to jesus he want to enter into the kingdom of god jesus said you have to be born again and he asked Jesus, how can I be born again? Yeah. And Jesus told him how he can be born again. The question I'm asking you is, Jesus has shown you all these visions, but you just told me you are not born again. Do you want to be born again? Because if you, don't, if you are not born again, you might miss the kingdom of God. And you just told me this beautiful place you want to go there. Do you want to be born again? Yes. No to worry about. Okay. Jesus said, Who's, as long as you have Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior, that's fine. Is Jesus your Lord and personal Savior? Wonderful. Wonderful. That's all I want to conclude on. So those of you who have heard the lady's testimony, she has had out-of-body experience. She's seen Jesus. She's seen angels. This is what we tell you. Some people still live and they say we don't believe. Your unbelief won't change anything. You need Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. And on that grounds, you can be saved. The Lord bless all of you. Jesus, lover of my soul.